everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to turn any forest style photo into something more unique and eye catching. You may have seen these kind of photos before and there are a couple ways you can do it, but I'm going to go through step by step and show you a really easy way to get the tree blur look, like you can see in these photos that I've already edited. For this you will need to have Photoshop. So this is a photo that I've already edited in Lightroom and have sent into Photoshop to do the tree blur. Sometimes I'll just leave the photo as it is, but some photos need a little extra help to look pretty good. Disclaimer, this is just how I do it. I am by no means a professional at Photoshop, so don't at me if I do things in a weird way. Okay, so once you've got your photo edited and sent to Photoshop, you'll want to use the lasso tool. You can probably use another one, but I just use a lasso tool to begin with, um, just because it's easier. Then you're going to want to select the area you want to blur. Sometimes that's good enough, but a lot of the time I'll have to do a more precise selection depending on the photo, which I'll show you how to do now. So while you've still got your selection up, you'll want to go to select, click inverse, and this will just make things easier to see. Then you'll want to press Q on your keyboard, and this will highlight it in red and show the selection. If that doesn't show up, sometimes you haven't selected your layer, so just click ahead on your layer and it should show up. Um, once you've done that, you click the brush tool, if, the, if you can't see that, you can just press B on your keyboard and that should bring up the brush tool. And um, once you have got your brush tool up, you'll want to select the color as black. And just a quick side note, black will add and white will take away. So if you draw over something that you didn't want to, um, change the color and you can um, rub or take away, depending on the color. So now I've made the color black, I'm going to paint onto the parts that I want to add into my selection. I'll speed this bit up. Once you've finished adding to your selection, press Q again on your keyboard and then you can see what's been selected. Okay, so that's the boring bit done, now we can actually get to the blurring. Go back to select and click inverse again. Go to the layer you're blurring on and convert it to a smart object. In doing so, if you blur too much or too little, you can go back and adjust it without having any issues or long term effects. Now we've made it into a smart object and our selection is still on screen, go to filter then go down to blur and then click motion blur there are several blurs there but i just find that this one works best set the angle to 90 degrees and then play around with the distance for this i find 162 works best it's not too much blur but it's just enough to give the photo something unique and a little bit of spreadage whatever that means and that's basically it you've now learned how to make any boring or forest photo into something pretty cool here's the same technique but on a different photo um, on this one, as you can see, there are some trees in the foreground that aren't blurred and this is because in the selection process, I just left them out of it so they would stay in focus so it kind of adds some more depth to the photo and isn't just flat. Um, and also as a final touch up, sometimes I'll play with the opacity of the layer and just decrease it by maybe 10%. It gives another little look to the photo. And that is it. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do end up using this tree blur in your photos, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you come up with. At Joey Conroy, I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.